Back at 11.26, we were trading at a price of around about the 18.950, and it's just about to trade, you know, potentially touch 19,000. So we've managed to get you about $1,000 out of that tweet. If you decided to play it, a thousand dollars out of a tweet. If you decided to play it, and um, you know, and again, this idea of a higher held bid isn't terribly difficult to recognise, is it? It's not something you look at and go, oh, no, I, "I just don't get it. I don't understand what you're what you're talking about here." You do. You really do get it. It's not actually that difficult. You might think to yourself. I can't see this for myself. You can absolutely see it for yourself, right? Let's take a look at it because this is obviously a brilliant tweet. It makes a thousand dollars on a tweet by recognizing this one vital piece of information. Let's take a look. So the tweet comes out. I'll just take a copy of the tweet so you can see what I said in the tweet, exactly what I said. You can timestamp it yourself so you can prove that it's at the right time on the chart. Okay, so this is what the NASDAQ looked like at this stage. This point here, I was looking at a held bid. So where do you think the held bid is? It was this rejection here, right? So what I'd seen was, you know, we'd obviously seen a market that had been bullish up to this point. The market had traded into this area, higher held. So in other words, this whole bracket, this whole bracket is a higher held bid, right? So that itself is a higher held bid and is bullish. So what I'm now looking at is I'm now looking at the fact that we've came off at fair distance and then we've kind of chopped and failed. So what I'm now looking at is I'm now looking at this as a possible balance area POC in here, right? Which seems about reasonable. What I then see is I see this, you know, above here we've got pins, right? We've got these pins. So I'm very aware that that looks kind of bearish, but it's above the POC of the balance. So it's not unexpected. It's not unusual to see pins in that location, is it? It's not unusual to see pins in that location. It's not unusual to see buy pins in this location. That's not unusual. When we go above it, we kind of put in this imbalance, fast money move here, don't we? And then I see a pin here. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? That there becomes a sign of something that's a bit of an anomaly. So when that price starts to turn back up, I now shout this about being a held bid. Do you agree with that? Can you all agree that that's exactly what that is? That pin there tells me that this is now likely to be a held bid, and therefore there is a very high probability at that stage that this market is going to rip higher. What it does higher, I don't know. I'm not telling you what it's going to do higher. I have no idea myself at this stage. Because I don't know how it's going to play out. I don't know how it's going to deal. But what I do know is that at that point, it's going to rip higher. So what am I going to do? I'm going to send you guys a tweet so that you can all join in and make some nice money. Get some value from the room. Make yourself $1,000 a contract. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be that kind to you. I'm going to give you a $1,000 trade there, allowing you to get the deal done and make some beautiful cash. That's what I'm going to do. If you decide not to take me up on my offer, or in this case, my bid, then that's up to you. If it's not your market, absolutely do dandy. But when we see these things, this is not unique to me being able to see something that you can't see. This is just normal for you to be able to see these elements. A pin in this area here should have caught your attention almost immediately because that is not normal. On a pullback phase like this, you should not be seeing these. So when you're aware of the fact that we're already bullish into a high, that this pin here into that change of behavior there represents buying at higher prices. This is that phrase that it Mike thought it was so significant, he specifically mentioned this. 
that this was something that he was reminded of and it was really important. That higher held bid becomes a real thing. And what you've got to do is be able to have the ability to recognize its existence. And more than that, you've got to have the ability to recognize that it represents a real money floor trading opportunity for you to buy into. And then see what happens at top edge. Nothing might happen or lots might happen. We've just touched 19,000, guys. But that's us just literally touched 19,000 on that trade. How amazing is that story? Absolutely crazy, isn't it? How good that story is when you think about it. So, so please think about it. You know, for a change, actually look at that and say, nope, I get it. I understand it. I really do get that idea. It makes a lot of sense to me. I've taken the trade, hopefully, and I've made myself a thousand dollars out of your very, very hard work. It took me about five seconds to find that opportunity. You know, it really was a real, you know, spend, you know, real graft finding it. But all you've got to do is spend the time looking, recognize it when it's a thing and execute when it's presented to you. Don't think about it, execute it. And sure enough, a thousand dollars paid into your account following the tweet. Well, that's your tweets paid for another couple of years, isn't it? Crazy stuff, guys, crazy stuff. And there's more going to come from the tweets because we're going to start getting these generating triggers in as well from, uh, from the Max. We'll start tweeting out the triggers as well.